Self-discipline, the first thing it does, it enables you to go uphill. You can't go uphill without self-discipline. Nobody will carry you uphill. Nobody can coach you uphill. Nobody can push you uphill. If you go uphill, you got to do it yourself. There are no free rides uphill. There's no such thing as accidental achievements. It's the bridge. Self-discipline is the bridge between good intentions and good actions. Welcome to Philosopher Insights, the podcast that delivers wisdom in minutes a day that you can put into practice daily and strive to master over a lifetime. The podcast committed to sharing ideas that encourage you to bridge the gap between who you are today and the person you aspire to be in the future. Hi, my name is Herb Lamba and welcome to my podcast where I will share practical insights from the world's best authors. Knowledge isn't power, applied knowledge is. The quest to become the best version of you starts right now. Welcome to the Philosopher Insights Podcast. My name is Emily and I am stepping in today to introduce today's podcast episode. Today, John Maxwell is talking truth about the realities of achieving success. Most people are looking for the shortcut or the route with the least amount of obstacles. What they fail to realize is that it's in the challenges that we grow into the person we need to become. As Jim Rohn said, don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. John Maxwell is a number one New York Times bestselling author, coach and speaker who has sold more than 24 million books in 50 languages. He has often been referred to as the country's number one leadership authority. Here is John Maxwell. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Everything. There is nothing in your life, there is nothing in my life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. It's all uphill. You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Does it come to you? It's not in three easy packages, and it's not the cure to overnight success. It's like one guy said, all my life I've worked hard at being an overnight success. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Now, the problem is we have downhill habits. Now, if you have downhill habits and you have uphill hopes, you're in trouble. And the only way that you go uphill is by self-discipline. So listen to me very carefully. It's an impossible for you to have continuous success without having self-discipline in your life. Impossible. And my greatest challenge as a leader is your greatest challenge as a leader. And that is every day keeping people climbing. Because they don't want to climb. They want to coast to success. Huh? Are you with me? They want it to come to them. They treat it like the lottery. And they just kind of hope that if they're at the right place at the right time, something wonderful will happen to them. It won't. Everything worthwhile is uphill, all the way, not partially uphill. And the challenge that we all have is we don't mind climbing uphill for three or four days as long as we can coast for a couple. I des- I deserve a break. I deserve a break. I deserve a break. See, what you don't understand is four days of climbing is wiped out with one day of coasting. And you're back to the same place that you were. And you wonder why you're not being successful. It's faster downhill than it is uphill. It's easier downhill than it is uphill. It's quicker downhill than it is uphill. And so what happens is we have a lot of good uphill days, but we have a few downhill days, and the few downhill days cancel out all the uphill days. So people ask me all the time, they'll say, "Um, are are you writing another book? Yeah. I'm always writing another book. In fact, I'm always writing three books. I'm creating one, writing one, and finishing one. Well, do you do that all the time? Every day. Lost to God, I've never had a book write itself. It would be nice if I can figure it out. I'm going to buy into that program. No, I've got to write every one of those suckers. And I love people say, well, how do you do that? With a legal pad and a pen. 
one word at a time. What's your secret? Every day. Every day. Now, self-discipline, the first thing it does, it enables you to go uphill. You can't go uphill without self-discipline. Nobody will carry you uphill. Nobody can coach you uphill. Nobody can push you uphill. If you go uphill, you got to do it yourself. There are no free rides uphill. There's no such thing as accidental achievements. It's the bridge. Self-discipline is the bridge between good intentions and good actions. Good intentions is on one side of the water, and good actions is on the other side. And the bridge is self-discipline that takes our good intentions and turns them into good actions. And the question is, is my attitude about self-discipline, is it a tunnel or is it a bridge? If it's a tunnel, then self-discipline is heavy because it's always about what I'm going through. Well, I'm going through this. Well, I'm going through this. I'm going through. There's a difference between going through something and going to something. When you're going to something, you're on the bridge. When you're going through something, you're in a tunnel, hoping there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So if self-discipline is a heavy thing for you, it's a hard thing for you. But if self-discipline is a journey for you, it's easier for you. Is it a bridge or is it a tunnel? Am I going through it? Oh, I hope I get there. Or am I going to it? Secondly, self-discipline is the difference between temporary success and sustained success. Because the uphill journey is all the way. You don't get flat land and you don't get down land. You, it's just all up land. And so the core of all success, the core of all success principles is the core of it is self-discipline. Most people want what I call a quick fix. Okay, John. Okay. Okay. Talk to me. Talk to me. Help me out here. What, what's the quickest way for me <laughs> to be very wealthy, highly influential, and very successful in life? Just, you know, it's just cut out the, just give me the, just straight, quick, fast, easy way. There's no such thing. It's uphill all the way. And self-discipline is the vehicle that gets you there. Listen to me carefully. There is nothing I can do for an undisciplined person to make them successful. You've been listening to Philosopher Insights with your host, Herb Lamba. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to support the podcast, please share with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. To go deeper with me, you can register for free at www.philosopherinsights.com for instant access to a growing library of Philosopher Insights, which are 8 to 10 page PDFs, plus 20 minute MP3s that break down my favorite insights from the world's best personal development books. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Facebook at Optimal Herb. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.